Hey guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to the final episode of season two of Maggie Abercode. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one. Hold on, it's fucking up on me. In three, two, one, go. There we go. That is like quiet in my hair. Oh my god. so terrifying even as someone who likes horror like that is a like hella fucking creepy i'm sorry so what else can you do Yeah, you can't keep mommy in there any longer because she is gonna. Oh God, best girl. Oh God, you guys are screwed. But it didn't work, so what else can you do? Oh, you know. This is gonna get really sad, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it is the last episode before season three starts, and even though, like, what did I read, like, about an hour ago? They they said at the end of 2021, so I'm guessing it, it's going to be for winter. I mean, as much as I thought it was just going to immediately, like, continue with season three, like, right after this, something just tells me, they're, they, they, bleh, I cannot speak, they're going to do the Demon Slayer route, and they're not going to, like, continue this show until December. Which, honestly, I have no problem with. I, I, I can be okay with, like, a couple months without this show. But, depend. you know what? Let me change that. Depending on how this ends today. Then we'll see if I can last a couple of months without this show. I mean, because I think I, I, I can be okay. Because, of course, there's new shows coming in. But at the same time, when you're like, you want to see how this show is going to conclude with their third season... And such, and you know it's gonna air sometime in this fourth quarter. It's just you need a date. <laughs> Was there a reason why they didn't want to add subtitles to Yatro's parts? She's 
she's got to be like from what she probably from what she is saying since there is no freaking subtitles on this of course she's yeah she's feeling guilt about Serena. My precious baby. So because of that, she felt left out. Yeah, we felt left out for it. Maybe abandoned, but I mean, she still had her, but not in a way. But sometimes it's not okay. Yeah, but she's still going to blame herself, though. She keeps all this emotions, like, bottled up inside of her. Yeah, she left with the cult. And then, you know, just those three. Uh, I, I don't like the fact that she kept all of this so bottled inside because it just broke her. Oh, baby. She just doesn't want to show the signs that she's weak and that she still has feelings, but...
But out of all of them, she felt the most depressed. she'd be adding to this when she first met you. She don't want But you're not. You know you're not inside. Oh my god. Dude, this hurts so big much. Oh my god. If she really accepts that she is not okay, she might change back to normal. And that's all she has to do. But that's one of the hardest things for, the, for any person to say that they're not okay. You won't fail.
think that is actually going to hold her. Mom's comforting their child. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Oh god. They would play this song. They would play this song. No, it's okay. What matters is that you're fine. How many minutes do we have left? They got five. They're probably going to end this on a cliffhanger. They have to. Because there is no way in hell that they can end this in, probably in a really good way. Five minutes, I don't know. They just basically go into their desk right now. Like, <laughs> oh, baby, you okay?
What's wrong? She basically gonna get killed right here and now, ain't she? Ooh, damn, Kano is going in on this. Stop me, Dutton. Come on. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Of course, only one her. We got two minutes left, huh? Our, our goodbye begins. You would, you would end, you would end right there. Final thoughts of season two. Season two was so much better than season one. I mean, like, we, you want to talk about dark? This got dark, like, hella dark. Like, woo. Okay, Curly, I hope you're okay, honey. Um, the ish that you going through, which is just your inner demons, um, I hope she can solve that in the final season when that does come out later on this year, coming into 2022. Because, like I said, the only... If it's not airing in October, it has to possibly either air between November or December. That's my only thought on it. Because, as I said, I was immediately assuming that this was... The, the last season would have aired right after this episode would have ended going into the first week of October and such. But, apparently not. Now... Who knows what the fuck is about to happen. So I feel like Nemu was about to tell like the whole story between her Toka and um Ui and we about to learn some truths about probably what the heck happened to Ui. And I feel like whatever ha like it it's going to be sad. It, it of course it is. It's going to be really super duper sad. And I don't want to cry over her because I love Ui. She precious baby. And it's, but you know, at the same time, it's like, <laughs> I am curious. <laughs> that to be continued. <laughs> that to be continued. But really, this season, even though it's like eight episodes, hell, it reminds me of when I watched like a, a typical like limited edition series at, or a limited series and where it's like, oh, hey, this series is only going to have like seven to eight episodes. And then you're thinking like, how in the world can they get like a whole beginning, middle and end in eight episodes? And some shows can do that, and then some shows can't. This is a show that clearly can do this. And so whatever, you know, questions and things that we're wondering about, of course, are going to get answered in the final season and such. But I'm just, the one thing I am hoping is Ui makes an appearance. Because Ui hasn't made an appearance since, like, and only really in flashbacks. 
And that was like the first two episodes of this season. So I'm just hoping that Uli is alive and well. She's okay. And she's somewhere like close just kind of keeping her distance and waiting until the right moment to come and pop up because hell I thought she was gonna come and pop up in this final episode because it would have made the most sense to have Ui face with her sister against two people who were her friends who were now personally as of now her enemy and such but there, there's still something going on between Toka, Nemu, and Ui and it's something that Clearly, okay, anime only me don't know ish about <laughs> people who played the game up to wherever the fuck we about to go next. Y'all know, y'all know, I know y'all know, and I, like as much as I would love to just be like, yeah, go ahead and tell me everything, please don't. I, I just want to wait and just find out. I know there's going to be like a lot of things that I'm going to probably be hella confused by when we get to this last season, but I honestly cannot, cannot wait. This season was just so good and like... The stakes, the angst, the freaking quality of animation. I mean, Shaft was just like, once again, between Shaft and Toll Animation, they was just like, in their animation quality, just mwah, and they're just like, yes, like, how much do you want in this? And they're just like, straight up, yes, we want everything. And every single week this show, like, the quality just got better and better. It looked more beautiful every single week, and, uh... I'm sad that it's over, but whenever the heck season three is going to come, I'm going to be so excited for it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entire second season of Magic of Aquatic. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, whenever the heck sometime between next week to the end of the year when season three starts. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye. Thank you.